Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough with our new fangled hookshots. We have a new outlook on the world and I went the wrong way actually. <laughs> Even though we have a new outlook on the world, that doesn't mean we can't go in the wrong direction. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is go up past here. Yeah, look at that, look at that it's a locked door, we've seen that before. And now we can move on. Uh, by the way, um, oops, wrong button. It is the X. Yeah, we haven't seen all that much of the dungeon, but we're gonna see a whole lot more of it as now because we've got the power of a hook shot. And this that opens that door. And it also opens the door on the other side, which a lot of people miss on their first run through, myself included. <laughs> so uh, there's this thing that you gotta do to hold the, uh, the door here first, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this side first, and uh, then I'm going. Yeah, you heard that the switch just went down uh, when I went into this room. Stop that! No. Oh, actually, I should save the pots for Red Staffos. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Take that. And wait, 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 wait. Ah, I thought I could pull that and get something out of it. Sometimes you can pull the tongues out. Sometimes, but not this time. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm on the wrong side. Okay, so this is, I believe, to drain the water out of that pond. And we gotta get that through, 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 this way, yeah. And I'm going to repeat what I did just a second ago, basically. Uh, here, I'll actually show you this. If we go all the way over here, you're gonna see it there is, yep, there's this sort of thing. Ooh, heart, heart, I want that heart because of the low health beep. Yes! <laughs> the low health beeps are the absolute worst. The worst! Alright, so, push up. And get it on the switch. Boop. And now uh, the other door opens. Nice, and actually, hold on, which door was that? I forgot. I think this was the right one. Mm, no, it was not. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get over to, um, I gotta get over to that switch to drain out the water for other stuff such as this, and I just took a wrong turn. And, oh, oh yeah, there was this door. Oh, oh I gotta do it again. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Be that way. You get out of here. And also, you get out of there. <laughs> and you get out of there. You're just gonna keep zapping me. And I do not appreciate such a zapping course of action. Alright. And, and, and. Take that! And now we're gonna go this way! It's because it's the correct way. <laughs> ah! Take that! And that! And that! Oh, hearts! <laughs> I'll always appreciate seeing a heart when I know I'm relatively low on health. Alright, I probably should have grabbed some fairies at one of the numerous fairy fountains around these parts. But, yeah, if I die, I guess I'll go outside and grab a fairy or two. Well, I even, yeah, actually, maybe I don't even have to. The boss isn't that difficult. Um, not this way just yet. I want to go south. Here comes uphill battle time. Yeah. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Oh, I could, actually could have went through there. But yeah, I want to go over to this door here. For these chests. Yup, remember these chests from the other side? They are just there to be there. <laughs> and you can also use that as a shortcut back, I guess, if you would like. But uh, obviously, I'm moving forward here. I don't want to go back. I have stuff to do, people to see, bosses to smite. Yeah. Hmm. I should also... Uh, which one of these was it? That, uh, yeah, there's one of these waterfalls has a hidden passageway behind it. I guess I'm gonna have to try them one by one. Um, but yeah, you're gonna see from this side, I'll show you. See, that it's hinting that there's something that you can go through over uh, on the waterfall room. And you also notice that those... Uh, yeah, w watch your movements here. They do not ever go on anything but water. Uh, anyway, up. Oh, I misjudged that completely. <laughs> yeah, this one? No, this one? No, this one? Yes. <laughs> uh, wait, is there anything in the last one? I don't think there's anything in the last one. No, there's not. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. 
Alright. Die. Die. Give me hearts. I said hearts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and going down. Mm hmm. Hmm. Any surprises? Oh, I thought so. <laughs> it all depends on where they spawn at. They're usually around this area. Just want to be sure. All right. So, oh yeah. Pay attention in this room here. Look at that. See that there's a cracked wall on this side. You can't see that from oh yeah i guess you can see this one from this side that is okay and anyway um i want to get them away because this has a current and you got to swim up the current like a salmon to get that key yes and we can't really do much about these water tectites so i'm just gonna avoid them the best i possibly can and i can use this room to resupply like for realsies resupply Alright, please be give me fairy! Yeah, a couple hearts are fine too. <laughs> As you can tell, we're coming close to the boss! You see the boss carpet over there! Um, wait, don't you guys get stuck on stairs and it's like safe to move? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I should have made a dash. Actually, I could just reset their positions, couldn't I? Come on over, guys! Uh, they're fine like that. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> All right, you. Okay, we're good. Everyone is fine. And we need to get our trusty hook shot out, because it's boss time. Behold Arger! Grab its babies! Yep, <laughs> just kill them off like that. <laughs> so, grab the baby! Oh, before, it, it, it's not that difficult or anything like that. This is why I meant that I probably don't need a fairy or anything to take care, take this on, even though I thought the Helma, you know, Helma Sword King was going to be easy too, and I totally, totally flubbed that boss in every way imaginable. <laughs> and also, just make sure to lead it into the walls as you go, so that when it does that spinny attack thing, you've got a lot of room to run. Because if it's, if it's in this middle of the screen, it's kind of annoying to deal with. So, yeah. Come on. Just get them all off. Get them all off. Every single one. Make it naked. Yes. Not kid-friendly in the slightest. Flashing jellyfish public nudity. <laughs> yeah, okay, that one. Oh, that was a weakened one. I was going to say that one only took one hit, but no, I, already, I, I forgot that I got a couple of them that went back on it before I was able to kill it off. And I need to be on this side. Preferably, there we go, and now when they're all off, it's crazy time! Here we go! Look out, look out, look out! And it's gonna bounce off the walls in a very predictable fashion. Yeah, this is probably even easier than the first part, in all honesty. <laughs> because just stay on, stay against the wall and just watch its movements, and you can just charge up your sword, let it do, let it do its thing. It's not directly aiming for you or anything like that, just wait for it to go right towards you, and... Well, I missed time that. <laughs> yeah, it only, when it when it jumps up to the ceiling, it drops down on top of you. It does a decent amount of damage, but not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Woo! Oh, and those little guys that I was pulling off of them are called Argy. And another dungeon is complete. Oh yeah! How do you like those apples? And a little cutscene. Ooh, ooh, la 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 la. <laughs> Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you, Triforce. Will grant the wishes of whoever touches it, as long as that person lives. As why it is, he was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few know of its location, but at some point, that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganondorf, the evil thief. Oh boy. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw in Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evils hidden in the Dark World. That's a hint, actually, um, if you're going over to Dungeon 3. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No, Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Why, well, yes I do. <laughs> By the way, have the hero lead to the Triforce. Hey-ya! Alright, so we are out of the dungeon! 
And now what I'm going to do is do a little bit of exploring, actually. Um, 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 what I gotta do is to get to the next, I guess you could say half of the Dark World. You've got, oh, no, 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 I'm not how dare you? How dare you steal my rupee for a few seconds? <laughs> what I gotta do here is... Actually, I could safely use the mirror around here. It, it doesn't really matter where I use the mirror. I just gotta find the portal to get to the other side of the Dark World. Because if you see on the Dark World, there's there's a whole wing to the left of here, like where Kakariko is and stuff like that, that you just do not have any access to whatsoever, and oh, I forgot about this, yeah, that I found earlier on. So I might as well go and uh, check this out. Hello there, fairies! Oops, oops, why did I go to a bottle? Probably because I am thinking that I needed a bottle to keep fairies in a bottle. And yeah, this is another uh, easy fairy grabbing spot if you would like them. And now that I am stocked up, I will uh, grab my mirror again, I guess, and move on. Um, actually, I wonder if I should have just, like, saved and quit and started back at the Sanctuary, because that's probably a little bit quicker than the route that I'm taking here. Maybe to an extent... Oh, geez, surprise attacks from everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna sneak through here, you guys of every color. I'm just gonna let you be down that way, and I'm just gonna... <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. We're all okay. We're just making our way over here. Never fear, underdog is here, and stuff like that. And yeah, <laughs> just, just not even bothering with guys, because they're just going to respawn anyway, and it takes me longer to deal with them than not. Oh, 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 I should do something over here. Um, as long as I am taking a said path this way. Over at the graveyard, remember there was that wall? Um, well, I don't think this is it. Uh, no, yeah, this isn't it. It's it's underneath a grave, but uh, yeah, there's a large grave that has a couple stones in front of it. It's right here. By the way, these enemies right here, Ghost Guys or Pose, very classic enemy of the Zelda series. Anyway, yeah, push this one over and you'll fall down a hole, and this will allow you access back into, yep, the castle's basement. And this will allow you to go back, and why do I keep going over to bottles? <laughs> it will allow you to go back into this room, and blast this wall, and finally, after all this time, see what is behind it. What is behind this thing, anyway? I mean, it's, it's gotta be something good, right? Let's see here. Ten arrows, 300 rupees, oh, I... Hmm, I... I did not get the most of that. <laughs> My rupee count was already too close to 399, I mean, 999, and I just got 300, and yeah. So... <laughs> That is alright, I guess. What's not alright are rats bumping me around. I do not appreciate such attitude. And because I don't appreciate such attitude, I decided to cut ahead. <laughs> so what I, why I'm going over to this side is because you might have noticed on the Dark World map that Dungeon 3 is at the upper left corner in the Lost Woods of the Dark World. So... So, what we gotta do here, pff, what we gotta do here is figure out how to get there. And how do we get there is through this, well actually I don't think this is the way I can go. No, it's not here, I gotta go around the other way. Um, you can actually do the dungeons in a semi out of order uh, to an extent, because yeah, like, like this particular spot that I'm going up to next, it requires you to have the hammer. Uh, because you might have noticed that there was uh, a couple of stakes that you can pound into the ground, and that blocks uh, a certain bush on that side. It's not, not too far of a walk here. And what I'm going to do is go right down here, because this is it right here. I just said here a bunch of times there, but whatever, whatever, okay. And get out the magic hammer. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Oh yeah! Ah! There's a mine there! You just ruined my celebration completely! Anyway, this is another portal into the Dark World, which is how you get to the uh, secondary wing of this place. Like, like, remember I said that there was all... it was all blocked off? Yeah, it's because of this river right here that goes around the pyramid, and there's also these woods here that are blocked off because of certain other stuff, and yeah. So, there's the third dungeon. As a matter of fact, we are extremely close to the next dungeon, but at the same time... There are 
I guess you could say multiple ways to deal with this dungeon. It's it's a tricky dicky dungeon. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So what I'm gonna do here is end off the part when I reach said dungeon. I'm gonna sneak past this hole here. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was gonna be. I thought, doesn't this come alive? Oh no, I thought. Yeah, I guess it doesn't come alive. So here's the next dungeon, Skull Woods, of which I'm gonna start in the next part. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you then.